Passmark Softways USB 3.0 loopback plugs are a fast and easy way to troubleshoot and benchmark your PC's USB functions. Each unit includes a USB 3.0 cable and the Windows test software USB 3.0 test. These loopback plugs not only test USB 3.0 ports, but are also backward compatible with USB 2.0 and USB 1.0. They are also compatible with USB Type-C at 3.0 speeds. Type-C cables can be purchased separately. Using our USB 3.0 plugs, you can check if a USB port is powered, measure the voltage of the USB port accurate to plus or minus 0.1 volts, check that data is being sent to and from the USB ports, check USB error rates and transmission speed, measure the level of recovered data, and check stability under long periods of load. The device is compact and sleek, featuring a built-in LCD screen, four colored LED lights, with the circuit board housed in transparent casing. The LED lights provide the following quick indications. Red indicates an error. Yellow indicates that data has been received by the test device. Green indicates that data is being transmitted by the test device. And orange indicates that the USB port is supplying power. The LCD screen provides instant readings of the voltage of the USB power bus and the speed at which the device has connected. It also displays warnings, such as when the voltage is too low that is, when it falls below 4.25 volts. To get started, simply connect the plug to the USB port. If the USB port is powered, the orange power light in the bottom right corner should illuminate. If you're using Linux, there's no need for any specific USB installation. Just plug the device in and you're ready to go. Otherwise, if you're using Windows, you'll see a device setup bubble in Windows 7, or a window in Windows 10 appear. Once you've installed the test device, the next step is to install the device drivers. We can measure the voltage without the device drivers, but in order to measure the speed and run tests, we need to install them. To do this, simply download the device drivers from our website, open up Device Manager, right-click the device and select Update Driver Software. Browse to the location of the device driver and select Next. Now you should see both the voltage and the speed being displayed on the LCD screen. To run tests using the USB 3.0 loopback plug, you can use the free Windows test software USB 3.0 test or Burn-in test available for both Windows and Linux, both of which can be downloaded from our website. In USB 3.0 test, there are two modes to choose from, loopback mode and benchmark mode. Loopback mode is for reliability testing and benchmark mode is for measuring transmission speed. To run a test, simply select the device, connection type, test mode, and click Start. Loopback mode will send a packet of data to the USB device, which will go through the device's firmware and then be sent back to the PC. Any differences between the data sent to the device and the data sent from the device will be flagged as an error. As the test proceeds, color-coded lines will be displayed in the results window. There will be a line for each loopback round. This will repeat until the test is finished, either with the stop button or until the duration time has passed. Once the test completes, the result window will display the minimum, maximum, and average data transfer rates, as well as any errors that occurred. The results here indicate that there were no errors found. Now let's take a look at benchmark mode. Benchmark mode measures data transfer rates for short bursts of data transfer. You can configure the benchmark to perform one of the following tests. A read, which will send a burst of data to the loopback device. On the plug, you'll see something like this. A write. This will send a burst of data from the loopback device and will look like this. A read and then a write. This will send a burst of data to the loopback device and then immediately after, from the loopback device, in which we'll see the plug's LEDs alternate like this. A read and a write at the same time. This will send a burst of data to and from the loopback device simultaneously, and you'll see both the green and yellow LEDs light up together. The benchmark will repeat until the test is finished, either with the stop button or until the duration time has passed. As the test proceeds, the results window will display a line for each block of data, read or written, and the maximum read and write speeds will be displayed graphically in the bar chart. Once the test is complete, the result window will display the maximum, minimum and average data transfer speeds achieved. Here our test has completed without any errors. Let's look at what loopback mode and benchmark mode will give us when errors are present. 
In order to demonstrate the output generated from low-level errors, we'll use this intentionally damaged faulty cable to emulate faulty hardware. In loopback mode, let's configure the test to check for bus errors and then click Start. Now we have the total count of errors and what kind of errors they were. We can also scroll up to see lines for individual errors. We don't normally use benchmark mode for diagnosing errors, but let's run the test anyway just to demonstrate what will happen when we run benchmark mode with faulty hardware. As you can see, the last few failed read and writes caused the benchmark to stop prematurely. To use the loopback plug with burn and test, open the test selection window, select USB and then click OK. Burn and test will conduct the loopback mode test, followed by the benchmark mode test. The USB test will display the USB identity, total bytes sent and received, throughput rates, voltage, and errors. Once the test is finished, a window will pop up indicating whether the test has been passed, that is, if it completed without any errors. To find out more or make an order, simply go to our website, www.passmark.com, or email us at info at passmark.com. Thanks for watching.